This is example 4, SOLIDWORKS Drawing Files. Okay, so now we're ready to begin looking at drawing files. Opening a drawing file is very similar to opening a part file. We can simply go to the feature tree, right click, and this time from our right click menu, select the open drawing command. We also could have opened our drawing by selecting Open and browsing for our drawing file in the Windows Explorer. Now once the drawing opens, you'll see that a drawing is simply a two-dimensional printable copy of our three-dimensional files whether that be assemblies or parts. In the drawing file we can have dimensions that show a machinist or other tradesperson how to manufacture the part that we've created. There also can be notes as well as tables such as a bill of materials including a list of the parts contained within an assembly. Drawings may also have multiple sheets. In this example I have multiple sheets so I can select another sheet. And this is a series of drawings that are connected together. In this case I have a drawing of the body of my dump truck. Again I can include dimensions and I will admit these, dim these drawings have a very limited number of dimensions to improve clarity and we're simply showing the user that a drawing is a two-dimensional version of our three-dimensional part. If I were to go to a blank drawing we'll see that a drawing file has a base template that the views are then dropped on so it's not necessary to create this template each time and each company is going to have their own template for their drawing files. So again, a drawing file is simply a two-dimensional version of our three-dimensional files for the purpose of printing out copies of our three-dimensional work containing information on how to manufacture the file. Again, I hope this brief introduction to drawings was a help.